I'm making some thick and chewy chocolate chip cookies today. I like this recipe because it uses melted butter. I don't usually have some softened butter, so I like the fact that I can just melt some butter in the microwave and then everything else is in my cupboard and ready to go. We're using flour, brown sugar, white sugar, baking soda, some salt, some vanilla extract, two eggs, melted butter, and then some chocolate chips. And in my little chips here, I've got half white chocolate chips and half peanut butter chips. You can use whatever you want, but it's about a cup measure of those. So you can mix and match or just do plain old chocolate chips, or you can even do a chocolate chunk cookie where you cut up a cho chocolate bar into some nice chunks, and that's quite yummy as well. We'll be putting that all into uh, my KitchenAid mixer, and we'll start by putting the ingredients together. To start my recipe, I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius and I've got two baking sheets just with some baking parchment or silpat mat on top of them so that the cookies don't stick and you can transfer them off of there very easily. I've got my KitchenAid mixer set up with the flat beater and I'm going to start by adding one cup of packed brown sugar and half a cup of white sugar pop my mixer down, just quickly blend that up. There we go. To that I'm going to add my half a cup of melted butter and mix that up. That was on about a medium speed. Now I'm going to add my eggs one at a time on a lower speed. There's one egg. And I'll just turn that up to medium. And back down to low and add my second egg. And back up to medium. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. There's one. And two. And we'll just mix that in. Okay, and then we're going to pop this up and I'm going to add one cup of flour, two cups of flour, and just a little bit extra, about an eighth of a cup extra. There we are. And I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of salt. There we are, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. There we go. And then I'm going to lower my KitchenAid again, and just on low, blend that in. go that's quite a thick dough so you do want to make sure you're using the flat beater on your mixer uh, you don't want to break the whisk attachment and then I'm just going to use my spatula and make sure that that is all mixed in well there we are and we'll just blend that up a, for a quick second more and then I want to add my chocolate chips and I'm just going to blend it on a low for just till they're incorporated. There we go. And maybe a little blast on a medium. There we are. 
and then you just lift up your head of your KitchenAid and you have a lovely sticky dough. There we go. Take off your beater, pop the rest of the batter back into the bowl or your dough, and now we're ready to put these onto our cookie sheets. Okay, so I've got my cookie dough here and I'm ready to scoop it onto my baking sheets. I'm going to use my cookie scoop so I get nice even balls of dough so that the cookies bake evenly. I've got my baking sheets that have my Silpat mats on it, which are just a silicon baking sheet, quite thick. It gives it a nice non-stick surface to slide the cookies off of after. If you don't have Silpat mats, I'd recommend lining it with baking paper, baking parchment, so that you can easily remove your cookies. So all you need to do is use your scoop, scoop out dough, and it gives you nice portions. So you can just go along quite quickly and pop those onto your cookie tray. So I'm going to keep going and fill up my tray. Okay, so I do two trays at a time. So I'm just going to do this tray as well. There we go. I've got my two trays of cookies ready to go. I leave them in nice little mounds like this because I like them really thick and they stay nice and chewy. So with this sort of um, about an inch sort of diameter, a little bit bigger maybe, I'm going to bake them in the oven for a total of about 14 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to do seven minutes and then pull out the trays, turn them around, and pop them back in for another seven minutes, keeping on how brown they are. I'll show you when I switch them around. Okay, so it's been seven minutes, and I'm just going to switch my trays around. So take this one out, turn it around, this one out, that one goes in, and then I put that one in, turn it around as well. And we'll do another seven minutes and check on our cookies. Okay, so here are my finished cookies. They've been in the oven now for 14 minutes. I've got a lovely golden color on them. And if we just slide our spatula underneath, you've got a lovely, beautiful brown bottom. So you just remove those to a cooling rack and let them cool down, or you can eat them warm if you want. They're a little bit hot right now. Very yummy. I'll finish taking these off of the rack and finish baking the rest of my batch and I will show you the finished stack of cookies. So there's my finished batch of thick and chewy chocolate chip cookies. Mine are a white chocolate and peanut butter chip cookie. You can see the insides nice and thick and soft. Lovely chewy cookie. My batch makes about three dozen or so. It depends on how large you want to make them. You can make them this sort of size, which I was using about, they started as about a one inch ball. Or you can make them bigger or smaller, however you like. Just adjust the cooking time depending on the size of your cookies. Just looking for that lovely golden brown color. Thanks so much for watching. I'll post the recipe below. If you've got any questions, please post those as well. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see what else I'm up to. Thanks very much.